Hello everybody and welcome to Romance Wolves Tarot. I'm about to begin here with a reading. Now this is a general reading so it might not resonate with everybody so it's very important that you do take whatever does resonate with you and you simply leave the rest of it aside. Now if you do wish to contact me maybe for a reading, you have a question, it does not really matter what your reason is, you can find all my information right below into the YouTube description box. So you can find contact information, you can find a list of readings, whatever you need is pretty much likely there. If you do wish to, please do contact me. It will be my great pleasure to assist you. Also, if you have not yet subscribed to the channel, please do take a brief moment of your time to click the subscribe button to show your support to the channel and to myself, and it is always and greatly appreciated. Also, if... Um, I would like to take a brief moment, actually, to thank all of my beautiful subscribers for listening, for commenting, for being part of the channel. It is always greatly appreciated. I would also like to take a brief moment to thank all the beautiful subscribers who have donated so generously to the channel. I do thank you so very much. It is always um, very appreciated. So that being said, let's begin this reading. These are messages from the universe and your spirit guides. So I do have four of them. Like I said in the beginning, you take what is good for you and you leave the rest aside. I have concealed power, live in the moment, move forward, and time to play. So let's start it off with a little bit of concealed power. This is about giving birth to the wonder of revelation. So this is a message brought to you by the universe. It's a message of divine guidance is what it is. You have been created with a power that is beyond that which you could ever imagine. Yes, because you possess a creative pot potential that is so vast, that is so wondrous, that it cannot be measured by any known standards. You have to know that you are something that is more. Okay, you're someone that is more than what you have taught to, you've been thought to believe. And that there is a higher energy that is available to you and it is time for you to realize the inherent power which lies dormant right there within you. In your own unique way, you are as creative as anyone else. You need to take a chance. You need to express your hidden, uh, not your hidden, but you need to express your ideas and your inspirations for making changes, for achieving your desires. And if you feel that something is within you, that it's stopping you from achieving your joyful dreams, well then it's time for you to let go of that feeling and to accept the current energies that are flowing through you in the fullness of love. Now is the time to respond creatively to the awe and the wonder that you feel and that you see around you. So this is about, you know what, you've been created to create. And from now on, every day, you're going to find something creative to do, but with your own life, to make your life, to make your journey happier, to make your journey more fulfilling for you. And moving on to live into the moment and that is not an easy thing to do what you are looking for is right here though it's right there it's within you you might be looking all around you might be looking in wrong directions you need to look inwards this time um you know this is all about a soft voice that's reminding the, you that you are looking whatever you're looking for is right there within you it wants you to open your hand to see what you already hold in it there is no need for you to wait to see what's going to happen all you have ever longed for is right here in this moment, right now. Let go of any clever schemes and the beauty that you are. Let joy change you into expanding the universe. Surrender into this moment of feeling alive and you're going to see that light. You're going to see that joy. Spirit reminds you to benefit from your very own life-giving creative power rather than focusing on any past concerns. Living in the moment means utilizing all of your senses and staying into the experience of how it feels. So by concentrating your attention to the present, you are better able to live each moment as it happens. And you are going to have the opportunity to recharge, to renew, and to learn to use your energy to enjoy whatever it is that you enjoy doing in every single moment. So when you're more positive, you're more optimistic into the present, you live and you experience your life rather than simply thinking about it, than wishing about it. 
You're going to be open to the possibility of much more positive and promising future. Your relationships are going to be more satisfying and for these changes, they can heighten your self-esteem and make you more open to the truth. So the message by spirit here in the universe is for you to live your life to the fullest, to make every moment count and to do it now. You need to be spontaneous. This is not about letting yesterday crowd out your today. It's not fearing the tomorrow. It's dominating your actions and your thoughts. It's being determined to live more consciously and more fully experience each and single every moment that comes to you right now. Moving over to your following message, and that was quite the powerful one. Move on forward, and this is about experiencing the grace that of who you truly are. So the time has come for you to be aware, to be aware of that inner glow that is calling you into the place in the world and who you're becoming. Because your path is now guiding you into a greater consciousness, a greater ability to respond to all that is around you and within you. This is a beautiful revelation that is soon going to flower into the discovery of a new creative life. Be ready to experience the everyday as if you're seeing it for the very first time. You're ready now. You're ready to move forward. You're ready to manifest your plans, your ideas. Let go of the need to be in control and become less rigid. And while it's necessary for you to have a vision, to have a direction, it is also important for you to be flexible in your approach to actually getting there. So by going with the flow, you're going to reach your destination, but in far more relaxed state than if you're trying to resist it. Spirit has come to encourage you, to empower you, to stop playing it safe, to wake up, to live your own dreams, to bloom into those new horizons and those and those changes. This is about prompting you to finish the work at hand and to move forward. But by emphasizing your new direction, by engaging your, Im- your imagination, by visualizing the success of your heart's desire, satisfaction is going to come to you when you faithfully follow a direction through. A freed imagination can give you the discipline and the motivation to accomplish your greater goals in life. This is about not procrastinating. It's about feeling safe and protected. It's about moving forward with determination to realize your hopes, to realize your dreams. And doing this with a deep certainty and an inner knowing that, you know what, you're going to reach every single goal that you set and you are going to achieve every single aim. And we're going to conclude over here with a little bit of time to play. And this is about making time to dance, taking time to play because we work so hard, right? Um, This is really about spirit has come to to come to remind you that play and developing a more playful attitude are not only enjoyable, but is absolutely essential to your good and mental health. Now, this change is going to play an important role in building strong, healthy relationships in bringing people closer to you in creating positive bonds and resolving conflicts and disagreements and if you're looking for a new relationship playfulness and humor can be effective tools not just for attracting others but also to help overcome insecurity and feelings of embarrassment that might have arisen from any past encounters so don't limit yourself to your own joy by being self-conscious and overly concerned about how you look or how you sound to others and when you attempt to be lighthearted. There's no reason to be worried that being playful is going to make you look ridiculous. Reclaim your inner child by setting aside any regular quality time to have fun. The more lighthearted you are, the easier it's going to become. So sprinkle your life with more fun, with things that make you lose yourself in that moment. This is about you needing to play. This is about you believing that you are too busy sometimes. Why not start right now? This is about encouraging you to be in love with life, no matter what it is that you're doing, and remembering to dance, to feel joy. Be spontaneous, set aside your inhibitions and do something fun that you haven't done in such a long time. This is about being in love with life and there is always a time to play. There's always time for fun and there is simply always time for love. And this is just a beautiful way to conclude this reading. 
I do hope that you enjoyed. I do hope that uh, these messages brought you some um, important information, some um, important motivation, perhaps. Um, if you have any questions and you would like to contact me, please do so. All my information is right below into the YouTube description box. If you have not yet subscribed, please do click onto the subscribe button and have yourself a beautiful day. I thank you for being there and I will see you tomorrow with new messages.